done by Miguel Silva and I'm based uh, in Portugal now. Uh, I used to live in Seville for uh, almost 12 years and I had a studio there. And now I've got my studio, my home studio here in, in Algarve is a near a small town called Lagos. It's a little village where I'm in. And, um, and that we have got apart from the studio, the certification program as well. And a few cities uh, in Europe as well, Zurich, Barcelona, Seville, uh, Oporto as well is my hometown. Nice. And, um, and that's it. And that's it. And just do what we love. And do that's what thing. we love. Exactly. Um, so how have things been for you since this, the, the lockdown and making those pivots with your business? How has it been? Well, at the beginning, I think for all of us, was a little bit... Um, lost in translation to what's going on in the world like like the this movie that i love it lost in translation so it was like i'm i'm not understanding what's going on in the world at the beginning was like just a normal common flu and then suddenly panic you know people dying numbers increasing like madness so as here in portugal as well we we passed the march and and april like a really lockdown, like people would not get out of home just for going to the to the shopping and, and food. That that was mm. was happening here. So of course, all my you know trips they were cancelled. Uh, I supposed to go to Asia with with Graz. One of them was with Graz to visit some students as well. Uh, so we have to postpone everything. Uh, another trip was to uh, to Hong Kong as well, Asia, but with Heather. So wow. Aust Australia as well it was there to all the Cloud Studio as well, Authentic Cloud Australia. So I had a, a few of them that were cancelled and all uh, our weekends of certification, they were cancelled as well. So everything was like, wow, the world yes. stopped, right? <clears throat> the world really so, stopped, yeah. Yeah. So at the beginning was like the, the shock, Martin, of what we're going to do. Uh, like the no acceptation, like, you know, it, I always compare with with any kind of problem that come to our lives and we're like, I don't want this. I don't want to accept. Mm -hmm. So that was the first step, the acceptations. So yes. this is what we have now. So let's find the solution. So the solution, I start to do it um, to, to keep up myself and keep encourage myself and not lost the plot. Uh, let's do a live uh, almost every day doing my workout, say, guys, this is my gift, what I can give to yes. you, like a free workout, come and, and work with me. So it started with a few people and then in the end, we were like 300 people doing the workout, which I was <laughs> yeah. very, very happy. That's amazing. Just to see that. And um, and we use the, the Unipilates, uh, our school, the platform, just to, to have as well more people coming in. And um, so everything was like a kind of, uh, at the same time, advertising the work, of course, because we use this platform to, to advertise our, our work as well, is our showcase. Yes. Uh, so the, the classes, the few classes that I, I, I headed before uh, by Skype, you know, people around the world, they just triple very easy. Like suddenly they were like, Miguel, where are you teach? Are you doing uh, online classes? So. I can't complain, to be honest, with the, the, the global crisis that we have. I can't complain at all. I'm still busy. I'm still working literally around the world from Australia to United States, you know, and like yes. working around. So I can't, I can't complain at all, to be honest. And uh, I, I still been called to do some some seminars as well to like kind of uh, teaching the, the, um, uh, the, the teachers of the studios, like doing like a continual education for them as well, which I'm very happy because uh, it's, it's a nice thing. To, it's just not a typical workshop that you just show exercises. No, it's a building up things, right? And yes. I really like that. Yes. And it's, it's, it's the way that we have to show our our work as well. So I can't yeah. complain, Martin, to be honest. I'm I'm very happy and appreciate it. Like every day when I get up and say, oh my God, we are a global crisis and I have got seven, eight classes in front of me. So yes. it's 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 good, to be honest, it's good. And you're really fueled by your passion, right? Like you're really, like you have such a love for this work. And I hear it on both ends. So I'm kind of curious, what is your preference or do you have a preference between introducing people to the work or introducing, or, or sorry, enhancing the work of teachers and teacher trainers? Like there's two sides of it, right? Like what is empower, equipping empowering teachers that are in the work and introducing people who are fresh to, to Pilates. Do you have a preference between who you like to introduce the work to? 
I, I really enjoy and love your, uh, your question uh, because it, it's not the first person that asked me that. Um, and my answer, it's simply like, I don't have any preferences for me. They are the same. As I consider okay. myself as well as student, yes. I, I consider my client a student as well that wants to learn what his control is, your Pilates, whatever we want to call now, because control is like a freaking word, no, control is... Yes. Uh, but for for us, like it's controls, we know what it is. But for the client that come for the first time, are you going to learn controls? They will look at you like, this is a kind of set that we, I'm here or whatever. That I mean, like just, yes. so we, with the time, you just teach them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and you guide them through the work. Like I guide my students as well, the students from our school as well through the work. Yes. So for me, there is no difference. I've got exactly the same passion. I, I still love, and I think I will love forever to grab a person from the, the street and say, try Pilates, come here. I will give you a class for free. I'm, I'm still doing that on my village and say, oh yeah, do Pilates because I'm new, right? And people at small village say, oh, yes. you're new here in the neighborhood. Yeah, I am. Uh, what do you do? So I do Pilates. Well, all right. And I finish all this with the same question. Do you want to come and try? So people yes. come to the studio and give them a class for free and say, oh, this is Pilates. This is really good for the body. It's mm. perfect. So it's, yes. it's perfect. So yeah, I've, I still have got the, the, the same passion. So if, some, if, if someone comes to you, like you're in the coffee shop and they ask you, what do you do? Like I, what's, what's your line that draws them into a point where you can say, come try it? Yes, uh, I, I try to make it uh, as simple as I can. Uh, I don't try to explain what it is too much, to be honest. I say that this is exercise, this is good for the body, and come and try. You will feel on the body what it is. Yes. I, I, don't, I don't like it because when you start to talking, you know you're going to stretch this and you're going to look yes. better. Yes. People are like, um, uh, but what it is? So, you cannot explain it into words. You just have to feel it on, on your body. That's the thing. Yes. Well, that was the one piece, too, from our last conversation. We kept coming back to this. You have to feel it in your body. You have to feel yes. it. Like, I can't, yes. there's not enough words. To, I can't be slick with my words and pull them in. Like, you just have <laughs> exactly. to feel it. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That, that's the thing. It's, it's like in every sport, in every physical condition, you just have to feel it. You, you can be the best theory, you can have it in your mind, yes. like everything, I know how the muscle works from here to there. But if you don't feel it, you're gonna be, and what? Right. Nothing, yes. gonna, nothing gonna happen. Yes. The things happen through the movement, right? Right. So nothing will change. I've got, I, I think I've got, we've got a question from yeah, what is your lineage school? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that's Caroline in Germany, so she's just wondering, yes. like, where did you study? Also. Okay, uh, Caroline, I, I started, uh, my, my very, very, very beginning was in in, um, in Seville, like my, my first certification, right? I, before Seville, I was uh, I tried with a few teachers before what what we call just the mat work, okay? Yes. Getting in, in a gym, a random, that's that's the, what my first bite um, was a, a Brazilian teacher uh, that uh, I, I started to, to got in, but he was not called Pilates. The class was like a maintenance class, something okay. like that. Brasileira. She, she speaks Portuguese. <laughs> okay. She's not German. She's, she's Brazilian. Okay. Yes. Okay. And um, so I decided to get in. And in the end of, uh, of the class, I asked him, uh, what, what, what do you have done? And he said, look, this is Pilates. It's not very well known. So, wow. I'm talking about 17 years ago, Martin. Uh, was yes, something like yes. that. Yeah. So it was not known in Portugal. Spain was like nothing like no one was was doing basically no one just a few people that uh, they were already in a business right so ap after that um i traveled around a little bit i lived in, in in england i tried as well yoga which i liked it a lot as well so i came to portugal again and uh, on that period i start i started to um, to study uh shiatsu uh, chinese uh, traditional medicine as well which helped yes. me a lot to understand the more holistic the body I would yes. say like that. Uh, so it helped me a lot to figure out things, the energies, you know, connection, mind and soul and yes. body. So all the, the pers perspective was different. I used to be just a guy of, you know, nice Big chest, muscles. nice shoulders, but my, oh, here I am, you know, masculine thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. And football, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sort of thing. And uh, so af after that, I am, um, when I, I, I moved again to, and that this time was um, Seville, Okay. And um, so there, I, I'm another Brazilian teacher, 
uh, give me another bite of, of Pilates. He was working with the Authentic by the time they, they were called Authentic Pilates. So that was my first certification program. Okay. And now, of course, after that, I, I, I wanted to learn more and more. So I went to Barcelona and studied with uh, Fabian as well. Uh, it is the lineage of Romana Pilates, where I okay. was my start to Romana Pilates as well. And after that, I went to Jay Grimes as well. Uh, he, he doesn't call it a certification program there. He's a, he's a kind of continual education, right? Um, yes. It's, it's not like the program you are doing, the program. Right? They call him the work. And uh, I was there, there. I met my beautiful friend uh, Joel and Noam. That I yes. know that you had a beautiful conversation with them. Yes, and um, well. and more friends as well. That I made there, which I enjoyed a lot. Um, I travel a lot of times uh, to to LA and and still learning. And, and whenever I can, I always go there and and have more classes and more feedbacks. And and I really enjoy what I see there. I I like the, what I see in. in in LA about Pilates, to be honest. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's yes. a good atmosphere. People share the things. So I, I, I will be always a student, which I love that. And uh, I had the pleasure as well of having classes with a lot of different teachers. Most of them, they were from Romana, uh, Romana Pilates lineage, uh, which I appreciate them a lot, the work that they do as well. Um, yes. and, um, and that's it. And st I'm still here learning and from- Still learning. All, all, yes, always, always yeah. learning, still learning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> always. Yeah, that's a great process, right? Like, it, there's there's something to be said for always being a student, or like we said, like you know, a white belt forever, right? Like yeah. you never just arrive at this black belt. We could sit back and just point at people. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh like, no, that that's not gonna be me for <laughs> never ever. If if I'm <laughs> if you see me like that, I have to, I have to be retired already. Like no way. No. No. Way. No. 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 Yes. <laughs> Now, has your message changed? Like, like think about pre-COVID, post-COVID. Do you feel like your message has changed in terms of how you're communicating your main message to people? Um, that is a really good question. Martin, I think if I'm looking back, uh, probably I have got more need of sharing even more. Yes. Uh, I think it's the moment of sharing what Pilates is giving to us. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it's the moment for people uh, using this platform, which is, I think is amazing, Instagrams and Facebooks, because uh, everyone can access, like everyone, I would say like 90% of the world probably can have access to, to this now, nowadays yes. with a phone and or computer. Uh, so I think it's time for all the, the practitioners of Pilates showing that it's good for the body. We, we don't do it for ego and see, oh, we are the best. We can do this. It's not about the person. It's about the method and the dream of this man that wanted to all of us in the world, humanity, uh, practice this method. Uh, that, yes. that, that's probably, I, I, I always have been thinking like that mm -hmm. more and more. Uh, so with this, it gives me even more platform even more will uh, to yes. go forward just yes. go with that share so probably it's, yeah change a little bit more like accurate even more like all right don't lost you don't don't be lost just no. go there yes. yeah it's almost like you just realized you have a new venue or the venue that you're was now open for us to do more with it like your message yes. can get out further yeah. then you just jumping on a plane and going to Asia and then jumping on a plane and going to LA. So you, from your house, you can touch LA and Asia at the same time. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. And yeah. I love your perspective on that. And yes. it, it reminds me of, um, I remember doing those workshops with uh, balanced body and where they're presenting all of uh, Joe Ply's work. And one of the things that they posted was a letter that he'd written to a president. At I one saw point. Yeah, was that? I saw it so. to Kennedy where and <laughs> for those who've never seen it, he actually, you know, they were doing this thing on childhood obesity and the yes. state, the, the state of the United States with their wellness. And Joe Supplies wrote a letter to the president saying that contrology is the solution. My system yep. of exercise is a solution to handle obesity and our unhealthy culture. And that's why everyone needs to be doing it. Yep. How bold is that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I, when, when, when I saw that as well, I was like, oh my God, this guy's amazing. Like it's literally amazing because he it is, it believes it so much. And I think that's, that is what we have to do when we've got a dream, believe. 
yes. and go for it. Uh, it yes. doesn't matter if you're going to see the results uh, during your lifetime, but you are putting the seed and you yes. just put the seed on. Yes. So the seed was there and just a few of them believed on that and just a few of them carry on to do that. And thanks to, of course, uh, I think we should say that thanks to all the dancers by the time they, they carry on to do that. And uh, thanks, of course, to Romana that just, you know, she, she decided to go for it and, and, uh, and save, uh, kind of save or, or prevail this method. And of course, after that, all the teachers that around the world uh, are doing Pilates and teaching and other teachers and, and, and let's, let's let the, the method prevail instead of, of the person, right? Because I yes. think that that is the big difference now. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And the passion that people had to continue to recognize the, you know, the original order and the original idea and the methodology and the system itself, I think is important. Um, but at the same time, worshiping the classical method or worshiping the contemporary method is a totally different dialogue. Yeah. You know, so there's, there, I, I think that we need to respect the original uh, intent of the exercises and the methodology, even the list and understanding why one exercise sets up the next exercise. I like all that stuff. And I think that we also need to respect the origins of a thing. Um, but when we get so sticky on I'm contemporary or I'm classical, I think that's when we start to lose it. Yeah. You know? Um, I, I agree with you, Martin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's, and that's one of the things with this whole, with the quarantine time, I, I, yeah. I did, I started to kind of laugh to myself because that conversation started to drop off because people were just like, how do I keep moving? They didn't care how <laughs> it was just, how do I keep moving? How do I keep my studio open? How do I stay connected with my people? Yes. How do I make sure that these people I love are still doing their plies or do still doing some movement. And then yeah. the, the, the fussiness of this camp or that camp start to just dissolve. Yeah, um, my, my opinion, uh, and without hurting anyone's feelings, uh, there is no right or wrong uh, nowadays on the exercises of Pilates, right? It's not yes. no more authentic, no, nor less authentic. Uh, I think the, the things have been changed. Um, uh, I, I, I still studying uh, the way of, of getting as much as I can close to that source, how yes. the exercise was put it in. Yes. And I realize um, together with, with, with some friends, we, we just realized that the things have changed probably because they were difficult to achieve or because they just uh, were kind of harmful for the body in the way of people just realize it in their bodies. Yes. So they decided to change. I don't know. I've got lots of theories, but I just, they are just theories. But the yes. thing is, if I don't know, Martin, I think that, that, that is the, the big thing here. If I don't know how the source was built, how the foundation was built, I will not allow myself to change the method in any way. I will not allow myself to modify an exercise just because I'm in the mood of changing this exercise. But this right. is me. This is my personal thought, of course. But mm -hmm. when I see things that people just develop because they are very, very intelligent and very smart and they give to the method more things, I applaud. To be honest, I, I'm the first one saying, that is awesome. So it's yes. going to bring uh, things that probably if Mr. Pilates himself, he was alive nowadays, we don't know. It's just another theory. Mm -hmm. Probably he would have 10 more new pieces of equipment, right. 1,000 more exercises. Um, yes. I, I don't know, probably, or not. I, at, at the same time, I think as well that he achieved, I think what he achieved is like almost, I don't like to use too much his word, perfection mm -hmm. of, of a choreography. For example, the math work for me, the 34 exercises of the math, yes. it's kind of touching all all, all, all the, the theme in, in the body, um, like it's yes. and movement there. patterns, right? Like all the, yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So I, I really like to think that there is, this is the order and I really understand the logic of building up one exercise is building up another exercise. And we yes. go, when do we go, when do we go, when you go and finish on the stand up position. Yes. When I look to the reformer, I think this is not so square. Because the reformer, there is no numbers from one to 30 or one to 60. No, there are blocks 
that you can use the blocks yes. with yes. logical, of, of course, but you can, you know, for example, the, the theme of short box, short box after long box, yes or no. Short box in the end, yes or no. Mm. I w my answer would be, it depends on the person. Yeah, but the right. thing is, where are you going to put this? That is the big change. So yes. that is the thing that we have to think, all right, if I work in a flexibility, I have to compensate mm -hmm. it in strength and the other way around as well. Yes. So this is the, yes. the thing that can be tricky and we have to be smart enough to look at this, not just a, an exercise or choreography, better, right. but right. what is doing for your body, this, this exercise. Exactly, exactly. And as I've, I've said the story in the past, I had a teacher one time who was absolutely brilliant physics teacher and he used to say to us memorize nothing understand everything perfect that's, right? that's the way it should be exactly. that's the way it should be where i'm looking at the order i know the order of the exercise it's not because i've memorized it but because i understand what goes next and why what goes next and what haven't we done yet like that kind of I bring that from the personal training world too. Okay, so we we are removed in this plane. Now we got to move in this plane. Now we got to add a rotation. And we, yeah. like it's those things are covered. Yeah. If yeah. we understand it, then we can we can subtract and add as the body in front of us needs, but still understand where we're going. Yes. Yes. I I, I agree with you, and and I think uh, Mr. Platas he, he he realized that he knew how the body worked. So we, we just made up this system of exercises that um, we really can feel it on the body. We really can understand and we don't have to think too much. No, uh, right. that, that, that's my feeling anyway. You know, I, I don't want to do any brainwash to anyone. It's just my opinion. <laughs> it's, it's please don't, don't get me wrong. Just my yeah. opinion. I don't. I am not trying to convince anyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah or you, you made a you made a career with that opinion, so I guess it's working. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, it's like take it from me. Well, exactly. I mean, and that's we were talking. I, I was talking with one of my colleagues this morning about your actual business model, right? Like, and we said this last time too. The gold standard isn't necessarily a five thousand square foot storefront Pilates studio with nineteen reformers. Was it 200 people in your town? Is it <laughs> like <laughs> probably something yeah. like that? <laughs> right. I'll probably less. No, I think we have like 300, I think so. In my, my little village, he's there. Uh, so it, it could never work uh, that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have got uh, very lucky. To, I've got people that drive for 60K to see me uh, yes. just to say, because I heard about. So I think I still believe yes. in the mouth to mouth publicity is still the best because people say, oh, the guy's really good. So just go there and have a class with him. Right. So uh, I think that works uh, as well because no one knew who was Miguel here. Do you know what I mean? Like totally unknown. It's, it's, yes. they, they, my clients here are not the ones that they go to Instagram and see, oh, this guy have got, you know, mm -hmm. 7,000 followers. Oh, he must be good. It's, it's not, it's not led. Not like so that. it was, was the mouth to mouth and my work as well of giving classes and letting know and, and and that's it. So we, it works, right? I, I think that's yes. that's it's still my my model uh, of the business. This is one part, and the other part, lately, Martin, and we, we talk a little bit about that as well, is bringing back the gym as well. Mm. So what, what I'm saying that is, uh, we have to show as well to the Pilates community and uh, people that like to move, natural movers, that uh, Pilates is supposed to move. Uh, yes, is is a corrective movement as well. Yes. Uh, is is a rehab movement as well, uh, mm -hmm. is, but is a body condition as well. So I've yes. got people that come here with an injury, an old or new injury, recovering and make him strong. But I have as well, you know, uh, I work with athletes and especially surfers, lately the surfers as well, but not just surfers. I, I work as well in Zurich with a professional diver. Uh, she's cool. simply amazing. She's going to the Olympics now in 2021. Um, and a few more athletes as well from soccer as well. Uh, so the, the feeling with them, uh, and, and uh, I think this can be uh, very useful for everyone. I don't give a special class to them just because they're athletes. I give them a gym workout. So I make them move. I, 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 I am trying to make them um, independent on the work. And that was one of the points that we were talking before. So that, that is, would be my, my message now to the, my new clients. They have yes. to be friends with the reformer. They have to be friends with the electric chair, with the cadillac. It's not like an unknown thing right. in front yeah. of them. 
they have to be independent to, all right, you change the spring, you put the bar down, you grab the straps, you know what a uh, foot, foot strap extension, you know what is the spring. It, th those kinds of things, I think we, we should get back to to this again yes. and make this like a gym. That, that is my, my model. Uh, and I'm trying mm -hmm. to create this model now again to bring it back to people. Oh, you can just pay your codes for this. Uh, you can have one private with me a week or every two weeks, whatever. But I want you to learn as well what is the work. I want you to sure. be independent. And one day, why not having the wounded chair at home? Because it's a small piece of equipment and you do your workout. Like yes. a daily workout or three days workout, whatever. Uh, right. I, th I think that that is the, the message that I'm, I'm trying to sure. pass to my clients now. Yeah, and can you speak a little bit more about that? Because that was originally how Plies had his studio set up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that 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 is, is uh, well. Well, it's it's what the story says and uh, what we heard yes. as well from first hand Jay's uh, Jay's hand, and uh, he, he used to say to us that when people go there, of course, the first classes. Uh, Joel, I've got here exactly. Joel, there we go for it. Uh, so um, it, he was saying always to us that people get in uh, from half past six in the morning or seven o'clock in the morning until six, seven at night time. And he was a gym. But the thing is, the, the, the first classes, you know, the famous phrase of 10 classes, 20 classes, 30 classes, 30 classes you know, yes. uh, three times a week. Um, with him, uh, I think you would, you would learn, definitely you would learn the, the exercises, right? That's yes. why there were so many pictures on the wall because people, they were looking at it. Oh, this is the exercise, right? This is, oh, this is the thing that I have to do with. Yes. Uh, with, with a, you know, when you go to the gym and you pick up your, this is, this is my list, so I'm, I'm going to yes. do the workout program. Yes. Exactly. So I, I think that that uh, was meant to be like that. And all of these certainly... Not, not was not suddenly, like step by step, it just turned out to be a very exclusive, just yes. for very exclusive people, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah, which, which I understand because everything is business. And I, I don't yeah. want to uh, say, oh, no, I, I would be lying. Of course, I need money. Everyone needs money to live nowadays. And yes. by the time as well, more or less, but we need it, right? So, of course, you, when you think, if I, if I have, um, like you said, a huge studio with, like you said, nine, ten reformers and nine teachers working at the same time uh, for 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 the for the for the private classes. Yes, I've got a lots of people not giving me money, like literally, which I understand as well. Yes. But I would love to have that part. But the part as well, at that same client that comes once a week with you, yes, he could do it as well on his own and saying, mm -hmm. right, I want a private class with you every week, but I want to go go and do my workout almost every day or two days more, three days more on his own. Yes. And we have like a, a guide inside of the, the, the room, explain mm -hmm. to them, all right, this is good, this is not good, like try to like this. Not be 100% with the person, but you know, around the studio. Just like we floating, do in the gym. Right. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. So that, that's, that's, that's uh, by the time what we were told was like that, uh, Pilates, Mr. Pilates used to have is class or not just around the room with Clara and two or three people more by the time they were called a student or they were learning like people from the, the, the trust of him. They were around the room as well, helping uh, the, the clients that were getting in, which I think at the beginning, we really need that help because yes. it's you know, new equipment, the springs and everything. So it's like, exactly. wow. Even for safety, that was important right out of the gates. A, a, exactly. And right. see, especially nowadays, that they can suit you like in, you know, <laughs> right. like go for it. And they're going to get yeah. some money because I'm shooting you. And a part of that, which I think was very smart, Martin, was the independence that you are giving, the yes. non-thinking about anything. If you create dependency on your client, what you are giving to them is you know, the ability of not thinking, which I think is really, it, it's not worth it. It's like it's wrong. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. They can be thinking in, you know, many things, always alive, oh, my wife is going to call me, or oh, my cousin is there, oh, I need to buy some food, you know, business right. or whatever. So if right, you right. are on the exercise, and it's the only day, uh, only way of you being in the exercise, is do it on your own. I need to change the spring. I need to grab my straps, which is exercise yes. coming up. I'm doing good. I'm not, do you know what I mean? Like being with yourself. Yes. So we lost yourself. that. Yes. yes. We lost that. Yeah, no, it's true. 
mentors. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a mentor and do you have a mentee? I I do like to have um, a philosophy where I can rely on. I think that would be the word. And yes. um, because the dream is inside of you. I don't want to leave anyone's dream. I want to leave my dream. But having someone inspiring, because I think that that is the word now uh, for me, yes. uh, someone that inspires me with the work. So it doesn't matter if you have got one year of Pilates or 15, 20, 30 years of Pilates. Yes. You have to inspire me. Of course, there is amazing and there will be amazing teachers with all the experience that for me is already inspiring. Just to see them work the way yes. they touch, the way they do the push and pulls, the words that they use is already inspiring. So, so for me, more than mentor is inspiring. I, I need to have that inspiration to carry on with, with my dream. Like, all right, this is what yes. I believe. I need yes. to see someone believe it as well uh, on, on the work that they do. So I think this, I know for me, is very intuit, intuitive when you see someone Makes moving sense. and exactly and moving and, 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 you know, approaching to the clients or giving to the students another thing. Yes. And, and, and please, that was one of the things that I really like is when I don't see any ego, I see the person giving the method. Yes. So this was for me, this is my, my inspiration saying, all right, that yes. this is a person where, where I can right. find this inspiration. I think and so. The, the qualities that you esteem the highest Yes. Are what you're looking for in that mentor, so to speak, right? So it's not a formal mentoring, but I'm, I'm sure when you see a certain pe person teach and they're so involved with the person in front of, or if they have like a really sharp verbal cue, or you see them exercise, just demonstrating their exercises and they do it in a way like those are like, I'm the same way. It's like, okay, I can take some of that from that person. I can take some from that person. I can learn, you know what I mean? Because then that is feeling the things that I want yes. to inspire people with. Yes. Uh, for me, um, like the high standard where, I, where, where I, I can see that inspiration coming is when I see a teacher or a guide uh, guiding someone through the work, but letting the person be. Yes. And not, not forcing you are working, I see when they are working for the body, not for the exercise. That okay. for me is the highest standard that I can, that I, I want to achieve and I'm still working on that and probably yes. I will spend all my life working on that. <laughs> well, say a little <laughs> more about that. Like, say, like, can you expand on that? Working for the body instead of for the exercise. What does that yes. mean? What exactly does that mean? Uh, but for me, Martin is, uh, I'm sure that you have seen that uh, when people just try to show up and, uh, you know, and the insisting of, you know, doing a split or a beautiful hybrid and they are like banging, destroying the body with no control or yes. doing an arm spring, a stand up arm spring with no control, you know, things yes. like that. Uh, and the teacher or the guy is like insisting like, no, this is, you know, squeeze here. And they are not um, able to see that the person are giving the best. Yes. So there is like no stop there. Yes. So I think a smart guide or smart teacher is the one that sees that, grab that 10, five minutes in the end of a class and say, come here, this exercise is just for you. And yes. without saying that you are working on that exercise, you are mm. working for the body to achieve yes. that. Yes. Do you know what I mean? That, yes, was, was, I, I that, was that clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes, oh, perfect. absolutely. Yes. Perfect. So that, that is a huge difference that's uh, going to make the teacher being, for me, my quality, of course, like yes. all right, spot, spot on. He just, you know, he just was sharp enough to see that is the point that the body needs to work. Yes. And, and when you balance that without even speaking, about that exercise, one day you will say, oh, let's do this exercise. And the person was like, bing, doing yes. it. And like, awesome. I love, those are such good moments as a teacher when the, when the person makes a connection and they're just like, oh, I remember I struggled with this last time. Why was that so easy today? Exactly. 
Exactly. That's the thing, Martin. That's, I think that is right the connection where we have to uh, walk towards that. Like, yes. It's not meant to be perfection. No. It's not meant to be, um, uh, I would say, dangerous Pilates as well. Uh, both yes, things yes, are yes, really. Yes. But right. like uh, most of the times, uh, Jay was joking with us and saying, uh, guys, get used to bad Pilates. Nothing, yes. Nothing's going to happen. But don't get used to the, to the, to the dangerous one. That is very true. So right. for me, it's those words, you know, keeping that and say, mm, yes, let, let, let's read between the lines. What it means that? So that yes. for me is like, let the body move because mm -hmm. you're working for the body, not for the exercise. Yes. But in the end, let's grab that little point of the person, that little imbalance that you was like always coming to your eyes, like, oh, mm, it's there. So yes. because you, you, you cannot build up Rome in one day, you, you cannot change the person in one day as well, Martin. So it, right. it's, a, it's a building up. It's creating that foundation. Like you yes. said very well, in one day, the person will say, oh, I'm here already. It's like, yes. wow, this amazing, this happened. And you're like thinking, thinking to yourself, oh my God, I've worked with you so many <laughs> times on this one. So you're like, finally. <laughs> right. Exactly. But that's, that's but the funny thing is though, that, that is the moment when people call you a magician. Exactly. And you, you're not, right? you're just getting you're the, not. Person. the person. The right. person was the magician, was not us, yes. was the person was the magician. That, that's, that's yes. the thing. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's, so that's really good. And I think of like the word picture. Like, do you do you ever golf? Do you ever I've, you golf? I've I've tried golf as well, and I live oh. surrounded by golf courses now. Yeah, so yeah. it's one of the things that I've got in my mind that I will one practice day. and practice and practice because I, I like it. Then I thought mm -hmm. it was like eh, but when I tried, oh my god, it was a disaster, <laughs> Martin, a disaster. <laughs> yes. You know, I feel like. What I'm gonna do? And I saw a 67 year old my, was a teacher. She said, "Miguel, yes. no, no, don't use the strength." I said, "I'm not using the strength." I was like pissed off. Like, no, I'm just she had technique. I said technique. I was putting my belly in, my shoulders down, you know, and I couldn't rotate. I like, I can't rotate. So he put him in a very nice machine. It was like a round plastic thing. So yes. he put him like the 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 I you call the stick, right? And yes. it was I'm doing you know these. I saw myself doing Swings. this. Swings yes. and say, oh, now I feel now the, the like happening. So I went mm. to the ball again and hmm, like more natural said, oh, no, I got it. What do you see? See, again, is this using the, the perfect thing to work to the body? He was teaching technique. He was saying things, no working. Yeah. And just, he just, okay, I know what I'm going to do with you. Clack. And just work the body on that. So it's always a lesson. You see, you just can apply in every way, the, the lesson that you, yes. like a daily, a daily, a daily thing would be. Right. Yeah, exactly. And that's, there's a perfect analogy there. And I see that like, and the one swing, I'm sure there was one time that you hit the ball perfect, right? Like effortlessly went through. And got <laughs> exactly. The thing, and then you just chase the rest of your life, that feeling of everything exactly. being, that's what teaching is like for Pilates in yeah. my head. Like yeah, the one good. time. You, you give them the right cues, you find the one cue that sets off their exercise perfectly, or the one time that they nail that exercise, I yeah. feel like I'm chasing after those perfect teaching cues after the that cues. one moment, right? Like, <laughs> just to get everything that makes sense in their head. Like, like that perfect golf swing, uh, mm. one in 90 is correct. It's exactly, <laughs> well, that's it, we're still learning, and probably yeah. it's gonna be two in 19, three in 19, which, which is good, like, we're gonna increase that, so. Yep. I, I think it's a very, it, it should be very, uh, if I can say the word organic, you know what I mean? Like, yes, it, it's there. What if it's not, we can have a bad day as well. You, we can just, you know, just not see. It's so obvious that sometimes we don't see it because we yes. are you know, too much into it. Sometimes like, all right, walk back, let your client move. And suddenly we'll say, oh, yes. there we are. Got right. it. Yes. Question, how and where can we find information about your studio and classes? Um, and th thank you for the question. Uh, just DM, send me a message and, um, or, and I can send you the email and I can, I can, I can talk a little bit with you. No sure. problem at all. In, in yeah. Portuguese, if you want to, no problem at all. Yes. I can <laughs> see that you have a perfect English, better than mine. So you just, you just can talk in Portuguese as well. Thank you so much for the question. Yeah. Yes. Um, virtual, do you have any like workshops coming up? Any, any big conferences or workshops coming up? 
uh, this this Sunday, uh, sorry, Sat Sat Saturday, yes, yeah, Saturday in Brazil um, is online Pilates. Um, that I'm going to do it uh, is is I think it's going to be in Europe. Uh, is I'll pass six because I'm finished teaching the certification there in Oporto. I'll be in Oporto, so I finished there, and uh, half an hour later I started with a two hours and a half workshop about wonder chair homework. That, that's okay. going to be the the title. I love that. The wonder chair for me is just like, ooh, I was getting excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, it's, it's good stuff. I have um, I have a couple podcasts coming up, and uh, Brink conference in in October coming up as well. So awesome! Yeah, looking forward to that, and kind of crafting it. I'm throwing out little pieces as I talk with everyone about my topic and uh, the blueprint for your business. Good, right? And and it's oh, conversations like this that inspire that because you have a very unconventional business model when in North America, the standard, like we said, is to have a big sprawling space. Right. And you have a very like mentoring centered, people centered space and mindset, which I think is better for what we're trying to do for applies. We want to get it out there in a way where we still have that, that intimate contact with people where that word of mouth is going to grow the business. Yes. So, yeah. I, I, I agree with you, Martin, on, on that. I understand with you, but I, I have to understand and respect the other part as well of just just business. Yes. Um, but for me, the, 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 big, the big things, uh, they have to be a really, really, really good organization in order to give a That's very personal to. Yes. service. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because there are people. Like people are doing it. Like people are doing it well. I mean, I think even Joel's facility having the gym and applying yes. to you, that's, that's amazing. A great, great model of of doing that, right? And uh, yes, yes. I don't know. It's it's good, but I think it comes back to ultimately like like your attitude. You have a very kind of laid back, organic approach to it. Instead of getting so worked up and chasing after that dollar, it, yeah, it it it, it, it taints the work. For me, it can be. I, I I don't see myself with a with with a big studio, but probably because I'm very bad in organization, so I would be lost. Uh, yeah. So it's it's not my model because of that. But I totally admire, and I've got a few friends and students as well that've got a huge space and they manage so well the thing. But sometimes I know they struggle to be guide, to be teacher, and as well uh, um, uh, organizer, and yeah. you know and being in front of everything is is mm -hmm. is really is really hard so yeah well, sometimes that for me i, I to just decided to small business and i can manage the things and i i still be in in the teaching mood of most of the times because sometimes yes. even the agenda like emails you know and all the stuff and the schools like sometimes like oh my god i i, I need to just to go there and, and there and uh, it's it's hard. I mean, like being everywhere, uh, and sometimes yes. you don't you don't give hundred percent of yourself. You give twenty to one, twenty to another, and why mm. not giving the hundred percent? And as I I don't like it to be like that. I live the things intense uh, sometimes, probably too much. So having that would be for me a little bit weird. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's it's just yes. it's just a thing. So Joel Joel is saying. Yeah. Uh, because because we had, we had vintage here and uh, we were yes. five of us uh, with, with Sandy and uh, it's a really small studio as you can see like I'm gonna go at like, 360 look it's a really really small studio with yes. these views so we were five of us working here at the same time <laughs> yes so it was like <laughs> madness Mary we're here <laughs> yes that's, that's pre social distancing clearly it's, it's, uh, exactly. <laughs> Yes. Uh, but I mean, and us also, I mean, we don't have a ton of time left, but partnerships, right? That is the other part that we haven't mentioned. Like if you're going to do something bigger, like this is where we really have to lean on one another, our, your, our colleagues in the industry and have those real partnerships to do these things. Like it can't always be a one man show. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, th I think it's, it's, it's important to, uh, to have a business. Some, if you are um, a, a, a big, in a yeah, big yeah, studio, okay. yes, Kelly, I think it's very important to have. And trust, especially yes. in trust. Uh, the, the, one of my partners is, is right here, Dominic. We have a studio together in, in Zurich. He's is, is more than her than mine because I'm just there sometimes once a month. We've got certification there as well. 
Uh, she's a really good manager and teacher, um, but we have to trust 100% in the person, but we cannot be everywhere, uh, Martin. So it's good to have someone uh, to trust when you go for that skill. I yes. think it's good to have a partner and, and, and going in the, in the same direction. Uh, most yes. of it is very important. Share the same thing. Sometimes, yes. you know, partnership can be like tense yes. and it can, right. can go wrong as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Like everything in life. Like, like everything in life. Yep. Exactly. Miguel, it's so good catching up with you. Man, I'm so glad to see that you're continuing to just prosper in that space. And I love seeing all of your workouts. And you. uh, you, you're doing great work, man. You really are. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation and this amazing initiative that you have. Uh, I've seen amazing interviews here. So just keep going with that. And I think yes. we need more people like that to share everyone's work and um and shared to the to the community as well yes yes all right i'll sign you off here thank you so much thank right. you thanks to you